After 58 hours buried beneath the mud, rescuers pulled the 52-year-old man to safety. Officials say both his heartbeat and breathing are normal, but he was too weak to talk. That's been a rare bright spot in Joe Chu County, where the death toll has more than doubled in the past 24 hours. Crews are finding more and more bodies, some close to the surface, a sign that they almost made it out alive. More than a thousand people are still missing, but what remains unclear is how many are unaccounted for, telephone lines are still out, and how many remain buried. But as time passes, it becomes increasingly difficult to survive being trapped under all that mud and debris. And so that means an increased sense of urgency for the thousands of soldiers and residents who are searching the devastated area with shovels in their bare hands looking for signs of life. A mudslide like this is different from an earthquake. During a quake, survivors can be trapped in pockets of destroyed buildings. So it's just a matter of waiting and hoping that rescuers reach them before they die from dehydration or exposure or from their injuries or a combination of all three. During a landslide like this, people are literally buried alive. The mud takes up almost all of the space in those collapsed buildings. So that means the time frame for rescues is a lot shorter compared to an earthquake. And for those who have survived, the situation is grim. There is a shortage of clean drinking water as well as food. Electricity is out and the bodies are now decomposing in the hot summer sun and officials say they're worried about the spread of disease. John Bors, CNN Beijing.